That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's what make a lot of children get into a lot of things that they don't see. Right. God allowed it to happen right. as an act of punishment right. for your disrespect. That's right. Amen. You plan to be prosperous and have all this stuff. God Almighty will step in and make you reap what you sow. That's true. You that are watching me. That's right. You young people. That's right. Be careful. How you treat your parents. You may get on your own and can't make it. All of a sudden, you got to go back home with your bag of clothes. But you are so disrespectful and problematic to your mother and father, they don't want you in their house. That's right. Let me tell you something. Every parent is not proud to say, that's my son. Amen. Oh, that's my daughter. No. Oh, no. See, if there's a sense of pride, that's my son. That's my daughter. That's right. And there's a sense of disgust. I don't want no one to know. That's my son. Why? They are an embarrassment. They make the parents ashamed. That's true. Well told. That's true. Why? They know better, but they act like animals. Amen. You children, you owe your parents. Amen. You get a job, give your parents some money. Your mama. Most time, daddy ain't going on if he got sense. That's right. You're not careful, dad, the parents, the daddy's the day, they'll steal the children's money. You know, break in a child's piggy bank. <laughs> Empty it all out, bank just rattling. <laughs> That's right, sir. Take it back. Take it back. Get a job, young boy. Give some money to your mother. That's right. Well, I ain't got much. That's all right. That's okay. I want to teach you something. Oh, yeah. If you get a check for only thirty-five dollars, right. get some money to your mother. Right. Don't even grumble. That's right. That's right. Well, from your mother, you wouldn't even be here. Right. Your mother deserves your your whole check okay. and everything else. That's right. Amen. Amen. I want to give. Old school yeah. sin. Right. See, some young men didn't have a father. That's right. And that's why many of them are the way they are. They are late bloomers. They learn late. Right. Some ain't never had no father in their life. And this kind of teaching they never had. So they learned as they went on. That's it. But they made a lot of mistakes. Oh, yeah. And because some men did not have a father, it made some of them better fathers. Yeah. Right. It, it, it affects one different ways. That's right. That's right. That's true. Some concluded, I refuse. To allow my son to be deprived of what I was deprived of. Amen. That don't mean buy you cars and all that. That means sit you down and teach you. Amen. How to be respectable and honor. Listen, honor and respect go further than money. Yes, Always remember that. That's right. That's right. Honor and respect goes further than money. Let me teach you something. You can be a millionaire and be so trifling. trifling. Man, not even business people want your money. That's true. It's proven. Look at these stars. That's true. They get this all jacked up track record. What happened? All these sponsors now, they lose them. That's right. Why? They don't want that. The sponsors don't want that reflection on them. That's right. What do they want? A standard. A certain standard in character. This is what we're trying to teach you. You want a certain standard in character. You don't want to approach young girls like the boys in the street. All up on her in the street, smacking her on her behind. Girl want to be forward. You young girls, don't you be forward out here. Flirting in these young boys' faces. Be a young lady. That's right. That's right. Don't be no fast young girl putting up hood signs. What's up? That's right. Don't know whether you are a tomboy or a boy or a girl. That's right. What's up? I mean, what's that? You need surgery? Did something become dislocated? Listen, there's baby, girl, woman, lady. Yeah. Are you listening? Baby, girl, 
woman, lady. Mm -hmm. Baby, in the stage of training. Girl, still in training. Woman, in development. Mm -hmm. Lady, character. Understand? This is good. Amen. Society is not equal when it comes to the woman. The woman can be sharp, wise, smart, have a higher degree than the man. And the man will get a bigger check. That's right. And the woman may work harder. You men beat your wives and all that stuff. And yet, in most cases, the woman is the fiber that will hold that entire house together. That's right. While many of you sit out and drink and get drunk and smoke and hang in bars and shoot pole. Amen. Then you want to bring your drunken behind home Amen. and beat your wife. That's right. You're not fit to have a wife. Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. You don't get your wife pregnant to bounce upon your daughter. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. Go ahead. Amen. The houses of America fall apart. John the Apostle said it this way in the book of Revelation. Babylon is fallen. Has fallen. He says Babylon has become a habitation of dragons, foul birds, and every unclean thing. That's America. Amen. That's America. America is Babylon. That's right. Everything goes. Everything and anything goes. Amen. No respect for God, no respect for parents, no respect for authority, no respect for themselves. That's true. Baby, girl, woman, lady. So, your character develops, young sister. But the lesson must begin at home. Amen. You ain't got to go to school to learn etiquette. No, no. You should get that from home. Home. Good old fashioned mother wit. That's right. She teach you how to sit, yes, how not to sit, That's right. how to talk, yep. what kind of man not to talk to, yeah. what kind of man to beware of, right. what kind of man to look out for, right. how not to be fast, right. not to be forward, That's yeah. right. not to be flirtatious. How to dress your body, how to respect your body. Amen. How to do how to demand respect when someone tries to disrespect you. That's right. Man. You can't demand respect from some boy and you always flirtatious. Amen. Some boy can walk up to you and score and throw his arm around your neck and got his lips on your face. Another boy. Another boy. Another, what's the matter with you? A handshake is good enough. Amen. Imagine a young girl got a problem because I tell her, look, stop letting boys hug on you. Yeah. And they would say today, well, listen, Pastor Jenny, you old fashioned. I mean, that's the way we do it now. I know it. That's why this is going on. That's right. Bunch of babies yeah. having babies. That's right. And the type of generation of fathers today, they ain't no fathers. Oh, no. They're just men that love the womb. Right. If you offer it up, they'll knock it up. That's right. But they don't want to be your father. That's right. To no child. That's right. You offer up free breasts. Come on. Free behind. Come on. Go ahead. Bro. Free leg. Go ahead. Free. Now you become a bus stop. Go ahead. For whoremongers. That's right. Some of you mothers ain't no better. Boys are on you like ticks on dogs. Amen. Your boyfriend is with your daughter. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, take God. That's why they want this off the air. Oh, yeah. Amen. The 
pregnancy of America from single young girls got to stop. But until you love yourself, until you respect yourself and realize there's more to you than breasts, behind, legs, a breast canal. Talk to me. Talk back to me. Go ahead, brother. You got to love yourself. There's more to you yes, sir. than your chest, yes, sir. than your behind and your legs. Oh, That's man. the only thing you got to offer, man. You ain't got nothing to offer. Yes, if you got to use your body to keep it, man, what's going to happen if something happened to you? That's right. Suppose, suppose, suppose you have a stroke. Right. Suppose you get sick. He want to go about business and you're like, look, I, I don't feel like being bothered. Oh, you don't feel like being bothered? That's all right. I'm going to get me something somewhere. That's right. That's He's right. telling you he don't give two cents about you. Amen. He's in it for the body. That's right. You want to be respect for your mind. Amen. The wisdom and the knowledge of God in your mind and your heart. That's right. Amen. Man, respect you because you got chess? Yes, Isn't that stupid? He respect me because you out here and here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right, boys? Women, you are more than flesh. Don't let no man degrade you that's and right. make you think that's all you are. That's right. That's right. Amen. You don't want to ever marry a man. That's right. Go ahead. You know, the only thing you are to him is a piece of meat. That's right. What about your mind? That's right. Come on. That's right. Come on. Don't you all is have to meet. Yes, sir. That's right. But I got a mind. I got intelligence. Yes. But see, you young girls, you're green. I know. These young cats, these guys don't care because you got intelligence. Because they know you green. So they see your body developing. And he's up on his branch looking. He looking. That's right. Like a buzzard. That's right. And he see you out there talking. And that buzzer looking. Talking to the other buzzer. That's right. Before you know it, he's circling you. Why? He see a caucus. That's right. So now he gonna sweet talk you. And you feel honored because some cat older than you. Yeah. Buy you something. And you're like, no, no, that's all right. I, I don't want it. That's okay. How you expect for him to take you serious and you grinning? I don't want it. That's okay. I don't want it. I don't, I don't want it. What's the matter with you? They ain't going to take you serious. No, they won't. No, they won't. No, you don't mean it. So what he do? He gonna buy you that name brand bag. That Gucci or what's another one? David Duke? Louis Vuitton? Give you that bag. And you're like, what is the objective? Let me tell you good, rough, and hard. Because he don't respect you. His objective is to gain your confidence. Right. So he can buy his way into your panties. Amen. He want to buy his way into your bra and into your panties. That's right. You young give it up generation need to stop. Go ahead. You better listen at what I'm telling you. Go ahead. It's a plot. They said, no, am I right, brothers? Amen. It's an old street plot. Tell you everything you want to hear. Right. Oh, yeah, come on. Girl, you sweet. I love you. Here he's 35, and here you about 19 or 20. Girl, you 
Wow, you know, you got a nice rack. <laughs> Hanging on a nice back. Wow, you put together pretty sweet, and you... <laughs> You young girls, you young single girls, you ain't married. Mm-hmm. Don't you take money from no man. That's right. Don't they hear nothing about they your best friend? That's right. He's buying something. If you forget money to take to work to buy lunch, if you can't reach your parents, fast. But don't take money from no man. Amen. You may regret it. That's right. But we become naive. Oh, he's like a brother to me. He know he ain't your brother. That's right. He got beans in him. Jumping beans. Move it. That's right. Them beans is moving. That's right. <laughs> so you're young and naive. There's a quote in the street. You're young and dumb and full of. I won't finish it. But we know the last part, don't we, brothers? <laughs> and what you full of is what they after. Yeah. After. Hmm? They know you're young and dumb and you're full of something. What you're full of, that's what they're after. That's right. Because they know it better than you. That's right. That's right. Pray upon you like a buzzard. Amen. You're just another piece of meat. That's all. That's all. And you viewers get upset with me. Oh, that man is so vulgar. It's derogatory for him to say those things. <laughs> oh, oh, turn them off. Turn them off. Turn them off. <laughs> turn them off, James. Them off. Oh, my God. Turn them off. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right, Henpeck, leave me on. Don't you touch that television. <laughs> This is the problem. The homes of America is in the pits. The churches don't do nothing but sell cake and sell pies. That's right. That's it. Pound cake and sweet potato pies. Right. These churches ain't teaching nothing. Amen. Absolutely nothing. Amen. You're sitting around eating collard greens, chicken, and potato salad. That's right. Getting fat with Jesus. That's right. <laughs> Ain't got no knowledge of God. Just sitting around greasy. Greasy. Let's take quietness. Holy quietness. Just eat. Get some knowledge in you. That's right. Are right, you listening to the old man? Today's family is a family entitled. They got a father because he laid with some woman. That's it. That's it. But they ain't got a father as an instructor. No. Many of you watching me, you and your wife separated. All right. Mm-hmm. That don't stop you from being a father to those kids. That's right. Even if your wife divorced you. Mm-hmm. If you and your wife divorce, you still obligated. You're obligated. To teach those kids. That's right. You don't teach those kids, you are infidel. You're still an infidel. That's right. Are you listening? That's Amen. Right. Worse than infidel. Worse than infidel. Worse. My young teenage girls, how do you expect for someone to respect you? You got on your low riding jeans. Yeah. The beginning of your behind is showing. Showing. I'm going to make it so plain you can't get it mixed up. That's right. Low riding jeans. Even a dog got a tail to hide his private parts. That's right. You don't want to hide yours. You want your jeans hanging down and where your tail begins, you want that exposed and get a thumb raised above the pants. And then put a tattoo over that. Right over there. Mm. And your parents let you do it. That's right. You parents, just your young boys and young girls get a tattoo. For what? For what? Does it make you a man to get ink on you, boy? No. You young girls, it make you look more. 
cute or pretty or beautiful? <laughs> because you get a tattoo on your breasts? That's right. A tattoo on your calf? A woman get a tattoo on her calf or on her thigh? She don't want a long shirt on. She want to show her ink. That's right. So to advertise it. That's right. She don't get ink to cover it. She get ink so she wants to be a billboard. That's right. Give me Leviticus. In Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse 28. What is it? You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Give chapter and verse again. In Leviticus chapter 19. And we're at verse 28. Leviticus 19, 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. Listen. When it says you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, the wages of sin is what? Death. You don't want no cuttings in your flesh to enhance or to promote sin. That's right. You know, when I came up in the hood, they had a lot of tattooing. But one of the things in the hood was burning a mark on you. They burned some initials. Burn it in. Right. They burn it in. That's right. That way when your flesh pucker up, it stays there. Right there. Burn your initials on your arms. That's right. That's right. You must really love going to hell. Huh. You love fire that much. Amen. <laughs> Glory to take God. Amen. Huh? Yeah. See, when you was ignorant, you ain't know no better. Amen. When you come into the knowledge of God, you television viewer, you sitting up here yelling, you a Christian, going to a so-called Christian concert, and these men get up there singing, bare-chested, 30 chains around their neck, right. tattoos everywhere, hat, pants hanging down, and a microphone talking about Jesus. <laughs> That's right. God is not mocked. Amen. Come on, son, read quick. You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, mm -hmm. nor print any marks upon you. The Lord said he don't want no marks print upon you. I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Lord. The Lord advises this, and I believe his advice is pure. That's right. That's right. Now, if you had done this, you didn't know better. But now you know not to go add no new marks. Don't write. I had some folk write me. Well, Pastor Jennings, I had the name Jesus tattooed on me. So. That's right. It didn't say to write his name on you. Amen. Amen. They want you to live by that name. Not write it on you. That's right. That's right. The Lord says what? You shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the day, nor print any marks upon you. So you have these young girls. Go put a tattoo on their breast and then wear a shirt out in public to get a bra to lift up the bosom. That's right. And then get a bra, a, a bra or rather a blouse un, come down so far so what's in the blouse can come out. No. They want to advertise themselves. That's right. Holy Ghost ain't puffed up, but you are. That's right. Amen. You want to advertise yourself. Why? Why? Let me talk to you, girl. Wonderful. You that messed up, you got to advertise yourself by revealing your body parts. Zoom the camera and know me real good. Look at me. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. Why are you sitting there now putting in horse hair? That's right. Close that bag of Walgreens stuff up. Amen. Sit down. Stop painting your nails. Yeah. Look at me. Don't go look at your friend you're laying with. He ain't your husband no way. You look at me. What's the matter with you? Look how phony you are. You got somebody else hair? You got somebody else eyelashes? Them ain't your lips. You got about 13 holes in your ears. You bought some nails from your neighborhood drugstore. My Lord. Got all this silicon and OU's inner tubes in your chest. <laughs> Tires in your hips. <laughs> What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? That's why I don't take you folks long to decay when you die. That's right. That ain't nothing there. That's right. There was a special report came out on television on the program a few days ago. I forgot what day it was where women are so obsessed with beauty as they call it. Mm -hmm. They are administering Botox upon themselves and their face is so disfigured. Woman, 
I am trying by God's help to teach you how to love yourself. Amen. Amen. You so busy looking for love from everybody else. Why do you need somebody else to make you feel important? Why do you need someone else to make you feel honorable? Why do you need somebody else to make you feel special? You're supposed to be already established and honorable before you beat that man. That's right. That's right. Love yourself even if you are not loved by others. That's right. That's right. Love the way God made you. You don't need makeup and mini skirts and showing body parts and half naked. You need to do all that just to get some man. You will draw all the flies to your dung. That's right, Will. That's right. Amen. You get a woman with a body fully covered, step inside of a club, fully covered, head on, long dress, dress modest, acting like a lady. Security! Ain't nobody gonna come to her. Come on, come on, baby. No, anybody? Nobody gonna do that. Not, not like that. Baby, she got the bar drinking, looking at you. But check and see if she got a bomb under them clothes. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> but when you come out half naked, mm-hmm. and the mothers today almost as as naked as their daughters. You come out half naked, mini skirts and all that stuff, splits from your ankle all the way to your thigh and back all out. Your daughters look like prostitutes and whores. Young girls don't even know how to sit. One leg east, one leg west. So that's old home teaching. Teaching young women how to sit. Yeah. Not one leg east and one leg west. Right when you're sitting there in front of a bunch of men. That's right. No self-respect. That's right. And they think something wrong with this teaching. The mothers is to teach the young girl how to be clean. That's right. Clean. Not just the body, but also the mind and how to talk clean. That's right. That's right. But no, you want to go to a wild, crazy party with your friends. Parents teach you right. You want to sneak off the parties. And then someone there may hate you. Put something in your drink. And you now abnormal for the rest of your life. Amen. Because you are too arrogant and too stubborn to listen. That's right. You know we don't go to party. That's right. They don't try to sleep the one. You may cuss the day you born. Amen. Your so-called friends will put something in your drink. I turn you out. And then a bunch of boys run a train on you. That's right. You don't know what happened. That's right. That's right. Talk to me. Amen. Amen. That's right. This is holiness. Holiness. Having a good down to earth family chat. Amen. The homes of America and the homes of the world. They're in the condition that they're in because of the overall universal rejection of God. That's right. You need to repent of your sins. Who everybody? Be baptized in water. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need God in you. God. And the teaching of God upon you. That's right. The homes are so backward now, the sons are knocking up their own sisters. Sons is in bed with their mothers. That's true. Second Corinthians chapter five. Mm-hmm. Glory to God. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter five, begin at verse one. First Corinthians five and at verse All one. All right, first Corinthians, beg your pardon. First Corinthians chapter five and verse one. It is reported commonly. How often? Commonly. How often? Commonly. This was the church. Church. 
years ago during the time of the apostles. That's right. After Jesus died, That's right. That's right. rose again, yeah. and went into heaven. Amen. The apostles had problems among the church. That's right. Listen. It is reported commonly that there is fornication among you. This will let you know that all fornication is not the same. That's right. What? And such fornication. That word, such fornication. There's a particular kind that the apostle is addressing. And such fornication. That what? As it's not so much as named among the Gentiles. There was a certain kind of fornication that Jews done. That's right. That, that wasn't among the Gentiles that Paul's addressing. That's right. What was it? That one should have his father's wife. Hold it. Father's wife can be your mother or stepmother. That's right. Because right. your father's wife don't mean that woman is your biological mother. That's right. right. That's right, bro. Amen. That fall into two categories. Yes, mm -hmm. Mother or what they call stepmother. Amen. Notice it says one will what? have his father's, his father's wife. wife. That's sick. That's sick. That's sick. Some of you mothers that are looking at me now, you're sleeping with your son. It's so messed up today, you can't even hardly have your child with a babysitter. That's right. Now bounce upon your child. Amen. Front of your daughter. Amen. Amen. Be careful. Amen. Be careful who houses you let your children go to. I don't care if it's family. That's right. And if we all got crazy members in our family. Amen. All of us. Amen. And if a man shall take his sister. Listen. In the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and at verse 17. 